Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. In this problem, we are given a binary tree and we have to check if it is height balanced or not. And the definition of a tree being height balanced is For every node in the binary tree, the difference in the heights of the left and the right subtree can at most be 1. Hence, the difference can be 0, which means they are of the same height or it could be 1. In the given example, we'll have to check if the subtree at each node is balanced or not. The leaf nodes 15 and 7 are already balanced because they don't have a left and a right subtree, hence the height is same. For node 20, the left subtree is of height 2 and the right subtree is also of height 2. So it is balanced. Or leaf node 9 is already balanced. And for node 3, the left subtree is of height 2 and the right subtree is of height 3. The difference in the heights is only 1, hence it is balanced. So our whole tree is balanced. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. Let's have a look at this example. The necessary condition for checking if this node is balanced is that both of these child subtrees should also be balanced. There is also one other necessary condition that must be fulfilled the difference in the heights of these two subtrees should be at most 1. And the result of whether a child subtree is balanced or not would depend upon whether their subtrees are balanced or not down to the very last leaf element. Hence, you can see that whether a node is balanced or not depends upon the results of its child subtrees we have to do a depth first search traversal for this. For every node, we have to check three things. The left and the right subtree should be balanced and the difference of the heights of the left and the right subtree should be at most one. This will be a lot easier to compute if in our DFS, each node returns these two things. The first part of the return should be whether it is balanced or not and the second part should be the height of the tree. So for checking if the tree is balanced or not, calling DFS on node 2 and node 3 will return whether they are balanced and their heights. If both of them are balanced and the difference between their heights is at most 1, node 1 will also be balanced. This logic will become clearer with the implementation. The time complexity would be O of n because we have to go through the nodes only once. And the space complexity would be O of n stack memory because of a recursive DFS call stack. Let's implement our solution. Let's define our DFS function. This would return two things. The first part would be whether the current subtree is balanced or not. And the second part would be its height. As with all recursive functions, let's write our base condition. If our current node is null, that means it is already balanced and its height is 0. We'll now call our DFS function for both the left and the right subtrees. To check if our current subtree is balanced or not, our left and the right subtrees will have to be balanced. As we are returning two things in our DFS function, and the first part represents whether that subtree is balanced and the second part represents the height. Left 0 and right 0 would check if our subtrees are balanced or not. We also have to check if the difference between the heights of the left and the right subtrees is at most 1. We will get the height at the first index. This will be the first part of our return. And in the second part we will have to return the height of the subtree. This would be 1 plus whichever of the left and the right subtrees height is greater. This is the condition for checking if a subtree is balanced or not. And this represents the height of the subtree. We are now done with the recursive function, we just have to call it on our root. Whether our root is balanced will be given by the 0th index and we can directly return it. Let's submit our solution. As you can see our solution is accepted. If you have any doubts or concerns regarding this solution, please mention in the comments. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.